This hack tip is brought to you by Squarespace. Hello and welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down the concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen, and today, today we're taking a break from our Wi-Fi 101 series to focus on a few tips for Backtrack 5 Linux. My, my current favorite happy-tastic distro of choice, even though the new version of Black Buntu just came out, and looks pretty good. You know, who knows? We'll see. Anyway, uh, I wanted to get, let you guys know that we will be getting back to the frames and the packets and the sniffing, the pre-shared keys and the Wi-Fi protected access, uh, all. Uh, but uh, for the moment, I'm kind of knee deep in ducks and hacker cons and mods and going to Louisville. So anyway, hang tight. Oh, uh, so anyway, if you wanted to go back though and review, all of it is over at hak5.org as well as youtube.com slash show slash hack tip. And if you don't already have yourself a nifty USB Wi-Fi radio with our beloved Realtek 8187, you can actually go ahead and head over to the hack shop and grab one today. We just got them in. They look beautiful. They're all sexy and matte black. Anyway, booyah. It's time to uh, backtrack. Now back to backtrack and talk about X. X, the Windows system or X11 or commonly just known as X is both software and a network protocol that builds the foundation of a GUI or a graphical user interface. And it's considered a hardware abstraction layer or a HAL that creates kind of an in-between for the actual hardware of the computer and say like the programs that want to, I don't know, draw a window. And one of the beautiful things about X is that it can be used remotely over SSH. And while we've talked about this a bit on Hack5, I'm sure we're gonna revisit this on Hacktip here soon, but suffice it to say X is excellent what I did there. All right, so this brings us to the actual GUIs or user interfaces. Now on Linux, there are many user interfaces or window managers that use X and, and much like Windows, Mac OS X or OS X, I don't know how you say that, uh, window managers like uh, for Linux, like GNOME and KDE define the whole user interface and all that, uh, all that wimpy stuff. Wimp, that's uh, yeah. Just what we needed, another backronym. Uh, windows, icons, menus, pointers. Thanks, Xerox. It seems you guys invented everything in the 70s. Anyway, this whole thing, this whole long spiel has brought us back to Backtrack and my distro of choice, which I use GNOME. Because, you know, it comes both in GNOME and KDE flavors and I'm just not cool enough to use Fluxbox. So I use GNOME, I love GNOME. And if you've been using Backtrack for a while, you know that when you first boot, all, all you typically do is log in as root and then start X with that nifty start X command. I mean, how convenient. Anyway, while running as root isn't advised for other distros, I mean, come on, it's, it's a hacker distro, so hopefully you know what you're doing. But uh, while this whole, I don't know, rigmarole is fun, at first, after typing in root and your password and start X after a while, it gets kind of tedious and, you know, boring. So today, that's right, today we're automating this business. Right after a quick break. Squarespace is the fast and easy way to create a high quality website. They offer 24 by seven support, over 60 professionally designed templates and a sweet iOS app. Check out squarespace.com for a two week free trial and get 10% off when you sign up with the coupon code HAK59. The actual process of logging in automatically is done easily with a cool little program called RunGetty or Run G E T T Y because T T Y. Anyway, it's really simple to set up. All we have to do is first install Run Getty by doing apt get install R U N G E T T Y. And with that now installed, we can go ahead and edit our first T T Y configuration file. So for that, I'm going to use vi, and it's in slash etc slash init slash T T Y one dot conf. And what we'll want to do here is come down to where it says exec slash sbin slash uh, getty. -E I'm going to hit I to insert and put a pound in front of that and that just comments that out. So let's add another line here. What we'll want it to say is exec slash sbin slash run getty and then space tty1 space tac tac auto login root. All right. So I'll go ahead and exit out of insert mode colon x to write that file and quit. And now we can just edit our dot bash, our, our dot bash underscore profile to go ahead and start x after root has been logged in. So for that, we will actually, we'll first need to touch it because I don't think it's there. Let's see ls uh, and it's in slash root slash dot bash underscore profile. 
yeah, it's not there. So for that, we'll go ahead and touch uh, tilde slash dot bash underscore profile, tilde just being a replacement for your home directory, in this case, slash root. So now that that file's been created, I can come back in here and ls that, and hey, there it is, except it's completely empty. What we need to do is edit this. So we're gonna, again, vi slash uh, root slash dot bash underscore profile. And all we really need to do is add a line in here that says start x. So I to insert, start x, escape, colon x, boom. We are all set. All, we're off to the races. All we have to do now is, uh, is go ahead and reboot. And you know, Bob's your uncle. We'll be, uh, I, I'd actually do that here, but my screen recording software would quit and then it would be all weird. So let's not do that. Anyway, I want to know what programs are rocking your world. What technologies are taking your techno lust? Words, I have them. Hit me up, tips at hack5.org, and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. I can't say the show where we break down. I just did. Okay, here we go.